Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at product visualization with all, with our fluid simulations. Uh, so this is what we're going to be doing and uh, you can, uh, let's just first examine the project and then get into the details of how to make the fluid simulation and also uh, the product itself. So yeah, you can get the project files on my Patreon page that is patreon.com slash topchannel one on one so that you can examine the projects or you can go to cgtrader.com slash ismausvfx uh, to get the product as well if you don't want to subscribe as a patron uh, anyway let's get into the project and uh, look at everything so what i wanted to do is uh, visualize a product a fictional product uh, this uh, fruit uh, juice uh, product but i also wanted to have control over this, the final look of the uh, product and uh, blender fluid simulation don't really give you uh, much control over the fluid you can simulate and uh, whatever comes out is what you get uh, so uh, for example, if I wanted this to be exactly there, uh, it's really hard to predict if uh, the fluid is going to do that. So what I did is I uh, just make uh, the simulation. Let me first isolate this. What I did was uh, make the simulation. And I had this bottle as a collider object for this fluid uh, that is flowing in this direction to collide with and also reduce the gravity so that I don't have that much gravity there. What I did is convert this into a mesh or apply the fluid simulation so that is a mesh and uh, let me get yeah then i selected parts of that simulation and uh, just move them whatever i want you can see we have different uh, splashes just to have a, a look that i want uh, i can say i also wanted to have this kind of v shape in there so that's why you see that i have different uh, uh, waves going on here so let's get into a new project and uh, create the fluid simulation i'm just going to copy this uh, so that i can use it in the new simulation so ctrl v to paste it there uh, i'm also going to reset the, re the rotation and everything so that uh, we start uh, from scratch and i'm going to remove this fluid setting as well so this is what we have and now to set the fluid simulation all you have to do is add a cube and then give it a, a fluid a type domain uh, the, the main type is going to be flu liquids uh, because that's what we want to simulate and uh, because i also want to be seeing through uh, this i'm going to first temporarily change uh, the display and uh, the display properties are uh, from textured also lead to wireframe so that we can see everything that is going on and if we hit simulate we are not going to get anything because we don't have any fluid source so to do that i'm just going to add a plane and I rotate it here so that is angled a bit so that our water jets out like this and then collides with this at half splashes in all directions since we expect our fluid simulation to just uh, simulate up to around these boundaries here around here then we don't need all this area of the domain so we can reduce that domain the domain size to something like that uh, so that we can also reduce on our computation uh, power now if we hit simulate nothing is going to happen because we haven't set this as a fluid object so we can go under to the physics properties and under fluid we can give it an inflow a flow and then flow type uh, we want it to be liquid and uh, geometry uh, the flow behavior should be uh, fluid if we play back uh, we are still not going to see anything because we need this to have an initial velocity so that the fluid is able to kind of jet out so uh, let's increase uh, the normal to kind of to something like uh, let's try 10 make sure you say under flow, flow source you hit is planner and also give this some surface emission to reset the simulation we just have to go to the domain increase the value here and i should get something like that uh, still the fluid is not flowing in the direction we want so i'm just going to select this and uh, increase the normal direction to something like 30 and uh, reset uh, the simulation again and, uh, that's what we have uh, now this we haven't set a, uh, this to be a collider object so we can go do that by hitting fluid and this is, should be an effector you want to give this a planner value and uh, maybe increase the surface thickness a bit and uh, reset the simulation again now that's what we get 
Now I can also reduce the size of this emitter because I don't want that much water. Reset. There, that's what we're getting. But I also want to break up this fluid here because it's very smooth here. So what I'm going to do is add uh, something like a cube and uh, just put it in the way of the fluid uh, like that. Maybe give it a, a rotation angle. Uh, like that and also do the same on this side and then now we can reset the simulation and hopefully that uh, breaks up our fluid flow and you can see how now we have that kind of wave there what you can do is now start remeshing the fluid. So you can go under the domain and uh, find the mesh property. Let's re-simulate with our mesh. So you would need more resolution for this. You don't really have to simulate everything because we just need one single frame. Uh, you can get the best frame, simulate up to the, the best frame you want and uh, see the results and uh, use those. So. After you're done with that, you can just go to the simulation. Let's make sure that I have a backup copy of this and I use Ctrl A visuals to geometry so that you can convert that like that. And then now all you have to do is go, you can remesh this using the remesh modifier. And then let's use something like a 0 0.01 and apply that. smooth and I can see we have a much smoother simulation so uh, instead of setting up everything again I'm just going to go to my original project and uh, let's show you how I set up all the mesh fluids so I'm press this in here and make sure that I is using the same and uh, select uh, this wave here so I can just go into edit mode select 